Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. This video is about the history of certain coins. Now, what do these coins have in common? We have a typical Morgan dollar from 1921 from the United States. And then we have a German taller. And next, we have a pillar dollar from Spain, or people call it eight reals, from 1773. Now let's start with this coin. The symbolism, people say, from uh, United States one dollar, basically an S with a line through it, could possibly be derived from this. See the pillar with the uh, scrolling around it. Now this coin was used in the colonies in the early uh, days of the United States. Now this coin, the taller, might have been the forefather of the word dollar. Now coming down to these coins, first of all, we have a New Zealand three pence now a lot of the British Commonwealth coins have the same uh, uh, same 3d to mean three pence now shouldn't it be 3p if it means pence now the history behind that is the D is Latin, short for denarii or denarius, which was a Roman silver coin over 800 years ago and longer. Now, Great Britain at one time was part of the Roman Empire. Then we see a lot of the uh, Latin still surviving in the coinage and money. Um, also, like the British Pound, not on this coin, but on usually the paper money, you'll have the symbol for the pound, which is a capital L with two lines through it. Now, why L if it's a pound? Again, it's Latin for Libra. The word pound is Libra, uh, which also survived in the Italian coinage right prior to them switching to the euro. See this is a 5 lira coin and lira was probably derived from the word libra. And also an interesting um, fact is England's Henry VIII at one time was the king for um, large part of Italy or what we know now as Italy and there you have it a little bit of interesting coinage history please rate comment and subscribe and also um, have a ho happy holiday take care coin picker out